Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Tetrix Robovents video series. This is Tim, and today I have my colleague Ray with me. And we want to talk to you today about using the Tetrix Prime system with the Arduino hardware bundle and the ultrasonic sensor and the Arduino software, including the ArduBlock plugin. Is that correct, right? Correct. Okay. So we've got several things with us, right? We've got obviously a little mobile robot that we did with the Tetrix Prime and the ultrasonic sensor, the Arduino hardware bundle uh, included on it. We have the Arduino hardware by itself with just the ultrasonic attached. Yes. Then we have a sensor, or actually a servo, right? Right. By itself, and then a spare battery here. So as we go through this, you'll explain what we're going to do and how we're going to use it, right? Yes. Okay, but before we start, we want to make sure of some things. There's some things they're going to make sure that they have to do, right? Right. We need to make sure we've got at least the Arduino 1.65 bundle. We know that works with the ArduBlock plugin, correct? Yes, correct. And then we also need to download the ultrasonic library, right? This yes. is a library for the ultrasonic sensor from Grove. Yes. It's okay. a little different from some other, some of the other ultrasonic sensors. So you need that library that we have on the product page. Okay, so they can find that at the TetrixRobotics.com and the product page for the Arduino hardware bundle. So those are the things that you need to gather up and get get uh, loaded on your computer, and we're ready to show how, show them how to use this, right? Right. Okay. So we're going to start. Go ahead and explain, Ray. We're going to start with obviously just launching the Arduino. Mm -hmm. Hardware, first, right? first off, you're going to launch your your uh, Arduino software, okay. and then you're going to go to Tools and start ArduBlock. Okay. And once we get ArduBlock, we're going to we're going to take the loop block off. Okay. We're going to go to Control, and we're going to get a program block. Set that on. We're going to get a while block so that we can get our green start button to work. Okay. And we're going to get a digital pin. And our green start button is attached to digital pin 7. So we're going to set that for 7. Okay. And we're doing this mainly because we want to actually make sure that our program starts when we press the green button, right? Correct. So that's all part of that. And we've covered part of this before in some of our earlier videos, right? Yes. Okay. So just as a refresher for that. Okay. Now we're going to go to variables and constants. Okay. And we're going to set a variable. And, and we're doing this, Ray, because we want to be able to... We want to be able to get a variable from that's going to change from the ultrasonic sensor. Okay. So we're going to set that. And we're going to name that variable distance. Okay. And we're going to pull, we don't have a set value for that. We're going to read that from somewhere. Okay. So we're going to take this out. Okay. We're going to go down to the Duino Edu Grove add. Okay. And we're going to find the ultrasonic sensor. And we're going to plug it in. That's where we're getting the value that we're setting to that That's variable. Where we're going to get set the variable value right there. Okay. And we're going to plug that into digital port 6. Okay. And we've got it on 6 because that's where we physically have it plugged into so the hardware, correct? Physically going to plug it into port 6, digital port 6 okay. on the Arduino. Okay. Then we're going to get an if else block. Okay. And drop it in place. Because we want to look at that sensor and we want to determine a behavior based on the condition of that sensor. Based right? on the based on what we find there. Okay. Then we're going to get a test and we're going to get a test. Uh, let's do a less than. Okay. And we're going to drop it in place. And then we're going to come up and get this distance value. And I'm going to right click and just clone that button. Okay. And I'm going to so that everything is spelled exactly the same. Typed if I if okay. I. And I cap that or something, that would mess it up. So we want to okay. make sure that those are exactly the same. And then we're going to go uh, get a variable. Put that variable in there. And that's going to be our distance that we're going to compare. Right. This is the test we're going to test this against, This is what we're right? going to test against. Right. 
And so we're going to set that for 25, not 125, 25. Okay. Okay. Now, does that default to centimeters, Ray? That's centimeters. Okay. Okay. Everything that we're going to measure is going to be in centimeters. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to get a servo. Okay. And drop it in here. We don't want to servo this one. We'll servo this one. Okay. We're going to add, a, we're going to add something in here. Uh, and our servos are connected to uh, on this one. On mobile one about eight and nine. Eight and nine. Okay. We're going to use a standard servo on okay. this one, and we're going to we're going to attach it to eight. Okay. And we're going to set its initial value. Okay. Then we're going to clone that. Okay. And drop it down in the in the else section. Okay. And we're going to set that value that now to ninety. Okay. Okay, so now if we if we look through our program, if our ultrasonic distance is less than twenty-five, our motor our servo is going to be at position one eighty. Okay. And this is a standard servo. So it's going to be turned all all one direction. Okay. And then we're going to set it if it's if it is not, if it's greater than twenty-five, we're going to set that to ninety. Okay. So let's see that. Let's let's plug in a battery. Okay. Let's go ahead and plug my battery. I want to make sure that my negative is on the inside. Plug it right there like that. And then I need my servo, servo. plugged in, right? And I want that into eight. Into eight. And again, I need to make sure that my negative is on the um, inside. So if you can see that, I've got my battery plugged in on this side, negative on the inside. Got my servo plugged in over here, and then I have my ultrasonic on the digital port six. So, okay, so I'll hold this one up if okay. you want to hold that one up. Okay. Now we're going to upload that to our to our uh, Arduino. Okay. You got to save the sketch course, first, right? I have to save it. Okay. So we're going to save that on there. Now it's uploading. And now it's going through its process to upload. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna so, power on. Power on. Uh, and you see that it it automatically went ahead and initiated the servo, right? Initiated. Now, if we move a distance in front of that, let me go ahead and start our program. Now, as I move my up, oh, I'm getting a reaction from that servo. When you when you get less than 25 centimeters, it moves that servo. Gotcha. So, Ray, what we're kind of simulating, this would be, for instance, like an automatic door opener, right? Uh, like if I approach the door, door, approach, approach the, door, the door, it door, opens. Door opens for you. Getting out, away from the door, it closes. It closes. So when you go into a store or, or uh, a building that's got an automatic door, essentially this is what's going that's on, is it? essentially what's going on right yeah. there. Now, if we want to know that's what cool, the Ray. exact distance is, okay. we can go back to our RG block. Stop that. That's, and we can bring in a... Communications block. Okay. There is a serial print line. All right. Function, and we're going to drop it in right here. In front of our if else statement. In, in front of that statement, it, it could go either place. Okay. But we're going to put it here on on, on in front of it, <laughs> and then the second block here is a message. Okay. And if you type in, if you click that, you can type a message that it's going to display on screen as long okay. as your as long as your Arduino. Is still connected to your to your computer. Okay. So to get this function, we have to make sure we maintain our. We connection. have to maintain a connection okay. to do this. Okay. Okay. So we've got that. Then back on the communications, we we're going to have to to get that value, uh -huh. which was distance. Okay. We're going to have to get that again. So we're going to use a glue block. Okay. We're going to add to the message that we're we're printing. And we're just going to glue. It's just going to stick that value there. Okay. So we're going to go up and clone that distance again. Okay. And we're going to drop it in. And again, the reason we're cloning is we want to make sure, we it's, want to exactly make sure it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. Okay. Okay. Now, if we upload that to our Arduino. Okay. It's uploaded. Okay. Now I'm going to click on on Arduino. There's a button at the top okay. right corner that says serial monitor. All right. And we can click that button and it will open another window. All right. 
And this is where we're going to see the distances the and messages, distance right? will be displayed there okay. as we so I'll hit your green light green button there. Okay. And you can see the distance is displayed on the screen. I got you. And as I move as in front you, of that, I'm getting a different distance, you get a right? Different distance. Now, if you notice, there's a there's the the distance value is jammed up against the word is. Okay. When RG block transfers over to Arduino, it doesn't leave us a space. Gotcha. So what we need to do is go right into the Arduino itself. Okay. And add a space, and then re-upload that. Okay. Now, if we hit press the start button. Gotcha. Now, we now can see our us, message makes more we, sense. Now we it? have a space in there, and we gotcha. can we can read that much easier. That's cool, Ray. So this shows a really cool use of the ultrasonic sensor. Shows it's easy to use with the RG Block and the Arduino software. Right. And what would be another use that they might use on a mobile robot? On a mobile robot, you could have that stop robot percent. stop when an obstacle when it, it runs obstacle into an obstacle. Avoidance, right? They can stop a certain distance from a wall, a certain distance. They can back up. They okay. can make it turn. Lots of different things that they can do with it once they make it mobile. So we've written a small program in ArgBlock on this. So should we show this how it works? Okay. Let's do that. Let's go ahead. Let's I'm gonna clear, some of, this, clear okay. some of this out of the way. Unplug this, get it out of the way. Just off to the side here. And we have our robot here. And I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. We'll use this as a stop. Okay. You're just gonna hold that right like that. And the idea is that we programmed this, again, we used 25 centimeters, right? I believe we did. So um, the idea is if I press this green, it should move forward and stop within 25 centimeters. Yes. You ready to try it? Let's try it. Let's do it. Hey, it did it. So if I actually move this back, it tries to go ahead and move again until it gets 25 centimeters. So we could, if our, if our, actually, if our berry would move that way, our robot would continue to move, right, until it gets to 25 centimeters. That's really cool, Ray. Awesome. So that's pretty easy to use. Pretty easy to use. Gotcha. So there you go. That's the ultrasonic sensor. With the, key, the key is to have that right library. Okay. The right library loaded is important. So remember where we found that at tetrixrobotics.com on yes. the product page for the Arduino hardware bundle and get that loaded up. And then you, you can go ahead and use this and build your own robot with either make a door opener, make a robo robot, or maybe something else you could think of. So like we always said, build some robots, have some fun, come back and see us.